All right. Welcome back, everyone, to another um, sunny, sunny day on the East Coast. I guess it's it's not late night. It certainly isn't. It's actually annoyingly hot and bright, and I hate the sun. I'm beside a window, and I just wish I could turn it off and stay inside. But you know what can you do? Anyway, this is Offworld Trading Company. Little game I had just a tiny bit of an eye on. Um, <laughs> oh dear, that jeez. Uh, anyway, um, the thing is, for for the most the most part these days, I try not to keep abreast of gaming news. Um, for the most part, gaming journalism has taken a shitter, and that's one thing. Uh, but the other thing too is, I've been so blown away by you know having these smaller uh, developers, you know. Uh, you know, send me copies of things and try them out and going, oh my goodness, I've never heard of this and it's so good. And that's when it hit me, you know, there's, unfortunately, hype is a bad thing in some aspects. Um, it's good to get excited over good games, but sometimes a game is average. And there's nothing wrong with being average. Uh, it just, you know, sometimes you hype too much up. So I haven't really looked into this started playing a little bit of the tutorial and I was like, you know what? We got like an hour before Kalen comes home. I'm I'm gonna keep playing the tutorial with you guys because the tutorial is pretty fun. Um as far as tutorials go, normally I don't do them, but whenever I see stuff locked I'm like, yeah, I'll bang it out I guess. But um there's a lot of flavor going on and stuff and this game is really exciting. It's done by Stardock, who I mean we all know I like Stardock quite a bit. Uh, they've produced uh, some really good uh, strategy games, um, but the the big thing is, I thought it was going to be another space strategy game, which I'm okay with. I was actually excited for another space strategy game, and it is, but it isn't. It's much more a um, sort of economic marketing game, uh, and, and right away, when I was doing the first level of the tutorial here, or the first two, um, I don't know if someone's made this comparison or not, and I really hope they have, but there's an old game called Mule. That's M-U-L-E. Um, and it's this sort of amazing, you're, you're on the moon, I think, in Mule. And you're going out and building things, and every day you get, you know, um, resources from the things you've built and stuff and there's bidding, and for some reason this game really reminds me of Mule, and that's awesome, because Mule's a game I really uh, enjoy, it's extremely dated, but it is a very fun game to play. Um, although we can't hum hunt the wampa in this, as far as I know. Um, the other thing about it, the soundtrack is so good! So good! Um, so, so far in the tutorial we've met two factions, and um, pretty basic stuff. You're probably not missing a whole lot. Um, the flavor text is, you know, it's a little fun and stuff like that, but ultimately tutorials are a little bit painful, so hopefully by the third level here we're uh, doing good. But the one faction we met is a faction entirely of robots, uh, robotic workers and the like. And the second faction we met were these sort of um, promising businessmen type of people. I say business one, but there's a man and a woman, but you know what I mean. Um, and the difference between the robots and them is they had to worry about oxygen and food. So that's kind of interesting. Whereas the robots were more about power. So these are the scavengers. Is Reclamation Industries provides opportunities for hard workers beset by unfortunate circumstances. By committing to the five-year contract, debts are forgiven and records expunged. That's not too bad, really. Sam Moreno will show you how to identify an ideal founding location for setting up a successful scavenger outpost. A good way to start off strong. The new col <laughs> colony of New Amsterdam has just opened its borders to outside investors. It's quite possibly you'll face some competition in the marketplace. Wow, I want this guy on my side. Reclamation Industries. Seizing opportunities where others see limits. Amazing. A few things you need to know about Reclamation Industries before you can help us found the Scavenger HQ. First off, we don't use stainless steel as a building material. It's good stuff that's over-engineered, but our lower safety standards allow us to use carbon compounds as a primary building material. Really? Carbon? Carbon is found in impact craters. We can extract it rapidly and convert it into a wide range of construction supplies. 
People question the using construction materials that haven't been field tested yet. People should really mind their own business. Why is most of the map dark? Yeah. It's time to learn how to identify a good spot to set up shop. The most important choice you're going to make is one of the first ones required, where to set up the scavenger HQ. We know locations of mineral deposits run in the nearby colony. We need to perform deep scans to verify the types of those minerals. Yep, basic scouting and recon. Click an area nearby to perform magnetic resonance scan. So these are where possible resources are. All right, I'm not going to read all of that. Um, there's some good stuff, but ultimately it's a tutorial. Um, does get a bit wordy and verbose for what it is. So let's go ahead and scan that. Uh, that's a water. So how this works is you'll see little deposit icons like this. And I believe they go up to three. I'm going to call them pips. I normally call these things pips, and I apologize. Um, but that's just what I do. And then we go up to about three pips when they're really big. So that is a low yield silicon and a low yield aluminum. Oh, and here's a very nice one. Nice spot for the scavenger HQ. Nice. Plenty of construction supplies, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So you'll see we have two water here. Which is quite nice, obviously, as a human-based faction. Again, I don't know all the factions in the game right now. So far, again, I've met the robots who don't need water. Um, except for things that you require water to make. You know what I mean? Um, we certainly don't need to worry about water, food, or oxygen as the robots. So two carbon will be nice. Um, I guess we just keep scanning, is the idea. Fast upgrades. It's a hell of a lot of carbon and aluminum. Fast start, which allows quick upgrade with plenty of core construction materials. There's not a lot of water. Actually, there's no water. <laughs> Some of us even brought families in this venture. Well, that that was silly of you, wasn't it? Should have thought about that. What do we have off in this direction? Diverse resources. Hmm... So, this one here, okay, I'll make the call, don't you worry. So, right here, this is interesting, this is not what I like to do. Uh, I'm one of those people, especially when you're playing, playing some sort of a, uh, a marketing or economy-based game, uh, the idea is supply and demand, right? Doing something like this you're never really going to pull that off because, you know, there are a bunch of low yields. You really want to specialize, and the market may call you to adapt later in the game, and that's cool. You can hit it hard and figure out how to do that later, but right off the bat, you really do want to specialize. So this is actually a decent choice, I think, for the good amount of water. We still got our carbon and stuff. Um, I mean, there's no water there. We can always get over here. It's not impossible. Apparently there's some water here, actually. A lot of iron and aluminum. Huh. So this, this is almost tempting, because if we go here, we're actually not far away from these. And uh, I don't think I can scan anywhere else. That's cool. So the thing is, we can actually build on any of these tiles. It doesn't matter. Like, if I build over here, I can still settle this water. The thing is, the further it is away, the the harder it is for me to sort of um, combo with it and build off it. But the other thing is, it, uh, it takes a long time for it to come to me, uh, because I have to ship it. Whereas um, anything I build, like here-ish, uh, I'll be able to sort of connect it with... Um, uh, like, if your buildings are touching to the HQ, or you filled, like, a train with buildings touching, you don't have to uh, ship it, which means it's instantly there as soon as it's mined or produced or whatever. But also, you don't have to pay fuel. Because otherwise you will be paying fuel to ferry things across. Now, fuel... You make fuel by sort of splitting the hydrogen from the oxygen with water. So the cool thing is, if we go here, getting a lot of water, we could do that. But I'm just going to go for fast upgrades. That's the kind of guy I am. I like, you know, sort of the build pretty fast. Let's go ahead and land on this here. Taking a huge chance moving out here. Some of us didn't have much to lose in the first place. That's right. 
wasn't satisfied working hard for another you'll see the game is really really nice animation the game is gorgeous the the soundtrack is absolutely stunning the soundtrack's worth the price of the game alone in my opinion <laughs> um you know what i mean but yeah, it's really good frank could afford his home payment now he's got a five-year plan different backgrounds same goals some of our crew are even recently paroled oh the one thing we all have in common is hope is frank a criminal just because some of the debts are repaid doesn't give you a right look down on me. Well, that's that's a fair fair point there, Mr. Frank. So build two elemental quarries. I will do that. Um, let's get our carbon production going. And you'll see if we oh we need more aluminum or iron. Eh, that's fair enough. So we're gonna build on this one first, and we're gonna have to pay to ship it. Um, with fuel. However, if we build another one here, it'll automatically connect and we aren't going to have to do that. We just need a little more aluminum to be able to do so. And because we built these beside each other, they each get, they each, both of them, get a 50% bonus. If we were to build another one here, it'd be a 75% bonus for all three. So it's pretty cool. And our water pump, of course, is going to have to be this guy way over here. Now, so we still get it, um, actually, can I cancel it? Um, I can't, I don't think. Like, not in the tutorial, anyway. But, um, you'll see we'll have a, a decent fuel issue here, yeah. So, it's costing us minus 0.29 fuel a tick, which is essentially minus $12 a tick, in order to ship this. I love reclamation industries. While there's mine iron and have to refine it for steel, we build straight from carbon. So yeah, normally you'd have to use steel to do all your buildings and upgrades. So we're actually keeping an attack level below. You'd have to do iron and the steel. Um, so it's sort of, it, it, this is definitely an interesting faction. I think the robot faction might be my favorite so far. Just go for energy and ignore the whole food, oxygen, and, and water game uh, for the most part. But, uh, because of our reputation, Scavenger HQ just isn't our business center. It's also the primary residence for our workers. None of us expect easy living, but we do require a daily square, a hot shower, and clean air. Get our life support needs in order before we take the next step. Sure. Now, the thing is, you don't actually have to build any of these. In the tutorial, we have to, and that's okay. But we never have to build food. We could always just buy it from other people. Of course that's going to increase the demand of food so you know we may be better off at some point um buying it but or like building it but you know what i mean it it's always an option i think that's a really cool thing let's go ahead and get our food production i don't really have a nice place for it um Those here will do. And then we'll get. Uh, oh, we need more claims. So we have to upgrade our HQ, which just takes carbon, so no problem. That gives us access to more claims. And yeah, we're gonna build these electro. <laughs> electrolysis is what it is, anyway. Um, reactor, which takes water and power but produces oxygen and fuel. So, pretty cool stuff. Apparently I need another water pump. Um, so we'll go ahead and build right here. We'll get a 50% bonus for each of these. And you'll see this is minus, th uh, minus 0.31 fuel a tick. Um, so, it's gonna be quite expensive. But we are starting to produce our own fuel. So you see it's sort of leveled out. We got a reliable production of stuff, blah blah blah, yep. Hmm. Hello, neighbor. So excited to be nearby your location for this business venture. So many new things are happening each day. Competition brings out the best in us. So, yeah. This is Yoshimi. They are the robot faction. Trusted helpers ever working till the end. The latest in human replacement technology. I like that.
So our competition now has the geothermal vent, uh, which is the highest energy producing building. So we're going to have to rely on either solar power, which of course shuts off during the night. The day is a day-night cycle, you can see right there. Or um, use wind. So we'll need to outsmart, outproduce, and outsell them. Oh, cool, we have stock prices. So we're doing a lot better than they are right now, but... Yeah. So wind turbines, you want to build, like, right on hills if you can. Um, you'll see the game's actually awesome. And the fact that it highlights the better places for you. Um, doesn't really matter where we put it. I think we'll put it up on, on this little ridge here. So energy prices are going up, of course, because the robots use energy for everything. And we're expending a ton of energy at the moment. Oh, hey, who are you? Let me introduce myself. Call me Rashkol <laughs> Rashkolnikov. Represent a group of independent contractors operating wherever works to be had in a frozen wasteland. We're called the black market regulars by locals. Wow. If you're serious about surviving out here, you'll refer to us as friend. We provide exceptional services at competitive prices. When you'll find it hard to compete with business as usual, we can provide more interesting options. Hmm. We deplore organized crime of any type, which is why we are so preact proactive in the damaging the interests of these so-called honest endeavors. There's nothing so organized or so criminal in its nature than what is commonly regarded as a corporation. Wow. There you go, everybody. Social commentary. So, let's borrow that geothermal. So, we can purchase a mutiny from the black market. Let's do bribe an opponent's building the working for you instead. Oh. Eventually the workers will return control to building the original owner, but until then you get all the profit. Don't mind if I do. So now we're stealing all their energy, we have a massive surplus. Oh, and the market's gone down for it, of course. That's alright. Upgrade our scavenger HQ here. We're gonna need more glass going. Um, we also need more of this stuff, but the tutorial's not letting me make it, so we won't worry about it for now. Let's let our, get our glass kiln going. Um, probably set it up... Probably right here. Should be good. So build a wind turbine. We already did, but... I want to spill another one, so that's fine. Build an elemental quarry on sil silicone. Sure, can do that. Yeah, that'll help us get our glass production going. I see this stuff's very far away, so it's going to cost us 0.4 fuel. What we do over here, it's 0.18, so that's not too bad. Electronics factory. Do we need that to... We don't need electronics to upgrade our HQ, but I guess they just want us building it. For the future. We got that going. Who is neighbor? Do you retain a memory of this geothermal plan? Recalling its story brings up complex connections within. You do not understand our relationship to energy. We have carefully constructed an example. This is called a teachable time segment. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was told to do it. It was a tutorial. I couldn't. Couldn't. Oh shit. Human consumption equals food. Observe green factories of water consumption. EMP discharge will make these inoperable. Hunger and emptiness. Leave neighbor alone now. Please learn. What a shitty neighbor. So how are we going to play hardball, huh? We're going to use our electronic production to build a hacker array. I thought hacking was illegal. So the hacker array intercepts intraspace communications and adds a little something extra. Instead of food supplies are en route to delivery, no imminent delays present, the message received by the colony becomes no food <laughs> no food supplies, imminent delays present. Okay, so we can use it to increase the price of things. Beep boop, I'm a dick. That's right, Herpy. 
Now let's get a hacker, right? Probably don't need it touching our colony. Let's put it here. Oh, let's pay her a little bit of debt. There. Goon Squad will protect the tile from enemy sabotage. If targeted, you will capture the sabotage for yourself. Oh. That's pretty cool. Glad to see the mutiny was to your satisfaction. It seems like you're getting good advice from Sam as well. Anytime you build something worth having, it pays to invest in protection, of course. My goon squad will ensure the safety and security of the location you're concerned about. Protection is not their only function. If a competitor is foolish enough to target a protected site, my team will capture and reverse engineer a response for your leisure. Hmm. Well, we definitely want to make sure our food doesn't go under, because we're already operating at a with a... Apparently the hacker raised the best thing to target. Alright. Let's open our hacker array. We're going to cause an electronics shortage. Which of course will screw over the robots a little bit. Give the hackers time to do their job. Alright. So it takes 60 seconds-ish for that to happen. Uh, if I could get another electronics array, I mean, done for that. Whoa, hey! Place a bid. This dynamite could be useful to teach those heartless machines a lesson in cause and effect. Alright. Oh, I see. So we got our little bidding war. <laughs> I'm not sure it's worth all the money we're putting into this, but, uh... Yeah, alright, well. Enjoy your dynamite, friend. <laughs> so funny, the AI's like talking shit. I love it when games do that. It's like a child bidding with their father's money. Well, who paid for it? Joke's on you, son. Electronic shortage is almost good. I'd like another greenhouse, that'd be cool, thank you. I would also... Oh, the game's not going to let me build another one of these. It's too bad. I would love to get more fuel coming our way. Uh, we can definitely sell off some water here. Our hackers have compromised the trading servers. Nice. Manipulation begins shortly. So the hackers doing their thing. That's good. No, I don't. Um, I guess I gotta build more electronics factories. Unfortunately, I can't put one there, which is sad days. Um, I I got a call that said, hey. You don't have to come into work today because we're super not busy and it's like a long way for you to get to work, so it was very nice of them. And so if I had got to work, I might not have had to work. I might have, but probably not for long, so um yeah, my boss is just like, you know what, just play it safe, don't worry about it. Um if it does get busy, we'll just kinda deal with it and I'll give you a couple more hours on the weekend for Mother's Day and stuff when it is actually busy. So, it was very nice of him. Uh, Kaylin will be home in like half an hour-ish. And then we'll be um, probably heading out to do something then. Oh, yeah. I mean, I love how they've got these little graphs. The game looks really, really, really nice. <laughs> I love all the little things going on. You can see it's like really shot up. Hello again. Our attention is once again diverted to behavior which is becoming uh, unbecoming of a neighbor. You've built the array of lies. Uh-oh. Demonstration is prepared to hasten your retirement. Instead of deception, let me share the concept of disruption. Yeah, have fun with that. Oh! Joke's on you. We got the dynamite. Because we had a goon squad. Yeah, they messed with the bull. So now we have a dynamite. We could put this anywhere. Kind of want to blow up their electronics. Um. Oh, I guess... Oh, it's New Amsterdam. I see. 
Hmm. Blow up their geothermal plant. Kill their energy. That's tempting. Um, it's tempting to do that, but if we kill their electronics, it's going to spike up the market a lot more, right? Because they're going to need electronics for all their stuff. Oh, it ended! That's fine. Expunge your record. Oh, I got a bunch of angry messages on my phone here. Um... Oh, we're just gonna run through one more tutorial, hopefully. Oh, cool! Scientist dudes. I really like her outfit, actually. It looks quite nice. So, economic disaster and a string of global crisis brought fears of a modern dark age. The scientific community gathered in the emerging shadows to pledge themselves to preserve and expand humanity's knowledge regardless of the cost. I already kind of like these guys. Um, it might be Herpy. Yana Kamat and Silas Crichton, I suppose, united their international science teams to form new meridians. Sounds nice. Their sights set on expanding planetary exploration. By competing with the other off-world trading companies, they hope to secure funding for even more ambitious projects. Join them to learn how to fully set up, uh, sorry, how to set up a fully optimized Martian business by balancing the pursuit of science. No, this is, yeah. It's the full game. Marth Wales. Thank you for joining our team, designing to build a better future together. You're welcome. I'm, I'm all a fan for better futures and science. All the structures used by our competition are based on my initial designs. That's awkward. So we build with steel, aluminum, and glass and require a healthy supply of water. Because of our unique technological advances, where we put the scientific HQ is very different from the more rudimentary corporations. You should look for a diverse spread of low resource icons instead of limited su Whoa, instead of a limited supply of high ones. That is odd, that's like the opposite. Some colonies invest time and money in their property scanning and recording geological resource deposits in their territories. Each competitor is given the same information, but there's a time-based charge associated with acting quickly. Aggressive businesses get access to prime real estate at a steep price. Please avoid the temptation to found immediately. The costs associated with founding quickly can put us in a considerable debt advantage. Or debt disadvantage. Alright, looking around. Fountain sign. Okay, so we need iron. Some iron there. Do we need aluminum? Uh, no. We just need iron and steel, so we don't actually need... Oh, no, we do. We, okay, there. There's aluminum. Hmm. Well, I guess... I mean, there's pretty good iron here. There's some aluminum, some water. A lot of iron and water here. Yeah, you know what? I kind of like this spot. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Probably about here-esque. I think that's fine. Uh, yes, Herbie. What a wonderful sight to behold. Our new home, a top-of-the-line science facility and business center rolled into one. It's now time to prioritize our production needs. Let's start with getting our building supplies online. You should be familiar with using mines to collect aluminum. We have a very different approach for iron. How so? Steel mill technology. Instead of building a mine, you just place a steel... What? Oh, that's cool. Okay, so normally you'd have to mine iron and then have a steel mill and hopefully put them next to each other um, for a bit of a production bonus. But now we can just drop the steel mill right on top of it and just auto-mines the iron. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, hey, how you doing? Let's, uh, scavengers. So they got... It's kind of cool, though. So let me check here, actually. If I was to... Uh, they won't let me do it, but... 
How much iron would I normally mine from one of these? Not sure. It's interesting, though. So, the interesting thing, then, about playing the scientist is, like, they're a safer bet, I suppose? But I'm not sure... They, they let you do sort of, like, a riskier, like... Actually, instead of doing this, I could have done something more like here, where it's just a ton of little tiles with just one icon on it. But oh well. Let's see what happens. Metal mine on aluminum. Um, it's probably going to be our best bet, sadly. There's a two stack. Yeah, it doesn't really offer enough for the fuel that we lose for it, so that's okay. I'm really excited to get into the actual meat of the game, but the tutorial's got some cool flavor introducing the different factions, so I figure might as well sit down and learn that. Rapid and efficient steel is not our only improvement. We discovered the advantage this approach afforded. Dr. Crichton was not to be stopped. His ultimate goal was to ensure that we could minimize the collection of core resources and leapfrogging others in the harder to manufacture resources immediately. Okay. Construct a site where water would normally be extracted. Bypassing the need to pump water. So, silicon. Construct a glass kiln. Whoa! So, this is cool. Yeah, scientists gotta go fast. I actually quite like the sound of this faction. Um, because. A big part of this game, right, is you have a certain amount of claims. Um, claims are, like, you're allowed to build, like, in a tile. Like, you have to claim it. Um, which is much like how Mule worked. I was, I was talking about that. So the cool thing about this is, um, instead of having to take two tiles, one for the iron mine and one for the steel mill, I take one tile... So, I need half as many claims. I mean, not exactly, but... Sort of. That's really interesting, though. I definitely should have built over here, though. I didn't quite understand... How the faction was going to go. Um... Well... Yeah, and it doesn't matter... I'm trying to put these on. Um... I think we'll go for... What's the grouping like over here? No, it's not very good. Okay. We'll go for this guy right here. Because we don't need... Like, we have no benefit for using a two-pip um, space. So might as well deny the enemy from taking it. Do you know what I mean? That's well, kind of an interesting thing you can do with him. Yeah, it's like you don't need a two-pip or even a three-pip. So you can kind of screw people over by taking those high pips and not using them so you're jacking up the market. Yeah, debt on power, it's 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 up there. Shouldn't turn the game up the fast, I guess, but... The game won't let me build any more of my, my stuff because we haven't built our glass kiln and finished the tutorial, if you will. Alrighty. Power, fuel, and food. Hey, how's our farming work? Yeah. So our farm equipment is able to automatically extract moisture from any water source except ice. Okay. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, none of our things work on ice. Huh. Interesting. Um, so normally you could build a water pump on top of ice, and it would uh, create some amount of water. Alright, well, let's get some food going then. Um, actually... Yeah, it's probably better I don't pay for the fuel here. Although, doing it here I could get a nice little triple bonus, but that's alright. And we 
need either a wind turbine or a solar panel. Uh, I'm more a fan of the wind turbines, personally. I think solar panels are a little crazy. Um, they do produce more power, but I mean, getting shut off at night, I mean, eh, I don't know. Go for the safe bet in that regard. I mean, like, uh, I don't know. I think the game looks really, really nice. Rice Farms. That's your faction? Oh, dear, Herbie. Like, just watch these things build. Like, animation is stunning. It's, a, it's like that weird... Right, we're at that weird time in human development where video games can be, like, pretty photorealistic at times. And people forget that sometimes taking a slightly simpler approach, just it's it's effective. It's just the way you use it. You know what I mean? Okay, so what do we need here? We can create chemicals. What do chemicals let us do research. All right. How do I create chemicals? I need power, fuel, and carbon. Do we have any carbon coming in? No. I mean, it's not too expensive right now. Actually, carbon should end up being quite cheap because we're up against scavengers and they're going to overproduce it, most likely. Uh, we got to upgrade. Yep. Can I build this on top of carbon, though? Yes, I can. Oh! That's dirty. Alright. So I think the scientists right now, the big thing we're having is... We're going to be paying a lot for fuel. Because we're going to be building all over the map. Graphics that are simplistic but recognizable slash fitting are great. Agreed, yeah. The neon lighting is, uh, is really nice for this. But like, just everything about it, like... I mean... Personally, I would say, oh, hang on, we gotta build another water thing, which we're gonna put here for our 75% bonus for all three. Um, but, like, just, just a little thing about, like, when I mouse over, how, like, the name pops up and that really cool, like, floret, like, like, uh, that sort of sci-fi lighting, like, oh my goodness, just little things like that just add so much. So much, you know? I, I like the fact, I didn't expect there to be different factions in this game, actually, I mean, I didn't expect it to be an economic game either, but pleasantly surprised with both of those outcomes. Uh, Mule was a game I played a lot in high school, so probably be eating a lot of time on this with the little time I have. <laughs> Fool sell their chemical surpluses for quick profit. But so much money. Optimization center. We got a small water shortage you need your help with. Okay. By using only the advanced buildings available, we have sidestepped the need to collect water. Yeah. Make you the higher service. Oh, okay. They got mules in this. That's awesome. That's really funny. I hope that's a reference. Um, and not just like a reference to StarCraft. Hire one supplement or water intake, okay. So we need an optimization center. Let's put it here. I mean, yeah, I guess so. Our debt's gone. Now the interesting thing is like, so this automatically goes into your debt, I believe. Which is interesting. So you do have to manually pay off your debt. Oh, there is an auto pay. But the thing is, you don't have to. And a lot of these games, it's better to have a lot of money on hand and be high in debt than it is to have no money on hand but have no debt. You know what I mean? some research here. So what do you want me to research? Uh, I can turn it off and conserve power. That's cool. 
um, purchase a mule from the black market. Oh. Oh, so I buy this and then they just harvest. 200 of the tile. Oh, there he is. Hey, little cutie. Perhaps I can adopt this mule after his mission is complete. <laughs> I hate those filthy bandits. Oh man, pirates. So, despicable pirates interrupt shipments and share their spoils with their investors. Our chemical supply line appears to be their target. Sorry about those pirates, the, <laughs> the chemicals, and to be brutally honest, our whole involvement in the whole deal. But hard time securing good sources of carbon at this locale. Carbon is critical to our growth, and seeing you aggressively claim carbon tiles for esoteric purposes really raises my hackles. I decided to revert to unfriendly means to balance the scale back in our favor. That's not very nice. Friends will leave eventually, but at the moment they're significantly slowing down the supply rate of our chemicals. Hmm. So we can optimize chemical production. Sure. Buildings that produce chemicals will produce 25% more. Alright. Oh, awesome! Okay, so the game's got a research thing. I like that. Alright. Technological advances. Like the most worthwhile pursuits take time. When we wait for the appropriate breakthroughs, why not focus on other areas we could improve? We could benefit by having greater food production. Build some additional advanced farms. Sure. The price of food does look pretty good. Gotta be said. Uh, oh, I gotta upgrade my HQ first. Let's go ahead and just sell off like a hundred food there. <laughs> That's fine. Make some good money. Alright, that's done. Can I upgrade anything else? No. Yeah. Additional pylons intensifies. Yeah. Oh, I need another one? Oh, shit. So this guy's getting a 75% bonus, but these are only getting 50 each. Which kind of sucks, but oh well. Hey, the mule's back. Welcome back, little buddy. I hate those filthy bandits. Repay each attack with an escalated response. The second is allow the hot embers of hate to cool, then use a resolve and intellect to develop a counter strategy. So what is it? Can't we just buy some explosives? What? Transportation network makes us very susceptible to attacks and vulnerability that have been exploited by those good for nothing criminals. Never been satisfied with half measures and comprises. Okay. Construct a patent lab. Alright. Also, we got somebody hammering beneath me for absolutely no reason. Living in an apartment, everybody. Teleportation, what? We need more water. Oh, now we got EMP'd. There's always a storm around here. If it's not a solar flare, it's a dust storm, huh? Seems that electromagnetic storm really hit your shipments pretty hard. No worries, though. Our operations were spared. Making sure any supplies you need are available. For the right price, of course. Ah. Okay, so we need a lot of power. Alright. There's sadly no geothermals available. Alright. Hit that up. Really good to put this. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, I get some water pumps going. Patent lab. Teleportation. 80 chemicals can teleport resources. Ooh, amazing. Our lawyers are already building a case for teleportation. I feel ya. <laughs> and we can increase our chemical production, which is cool. Build a water pump, that's done. Teleportation's coming, and build a power generator. I mean, that's 
being finished right now. Um, shit. I feel like we're right at the end of this tutorial, but sadly, guys, I got a jet. Kaylin is ready, ready to go. She wants to meet her outside, and we'll probably head out and stuff. Um, game's pretty cool, though. Liking it. Uh, I'm excited to actually get into it and not do tutorials. I find tutorials pretty boring. I mean, we're learning stuff, but I probably could have found it out by hammering my head against the wall, which is normally pretty effective. But, as far as tutorials go, not bad. I like learning about the different um, factions, which is pretty cool. We'll see if it ends right here. No, unfortunately not. So, now we actually don't use fuel anymore. Uh, because we just instantly teleport stuff. So that's really cool, actually. Huh. Alright, anyway, I'm going to take off. Just leave the game running for a while. And have a nice night, guys. Uh, well, have a nice rest of the evening. I'll see you tonight, uh, as I always do. Until then, boys.